welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an OWC data doubler in a 13-inch MacBook Pro mid-2009 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro on a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook Pro over so that the bottom is facing up. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove from the bottom of the MacBook Pro. We will begin by removing these three, as they are longer than the other seven Phillips screws. Now remove the other seven Phillips screws. Lift up on the bottom of the case to remove it and set it aside. The optical drive is located here. Unplug the two SATA connectors from the motherboard using the nylon pry tool. Now use the nylon pry tool to gently move these cables slightly so that you can remove the hidden Phillips screw underneath. We will remove three Phillips screws here. Start with this one. Now remove this Phillips screw. And remove this Phillips screw. Remove the last Phillips screw holding in the optical drive here. Use your nylon pry tool to lift one end of the optical drive, making sure that the battery tab and SATA cables are not in the way. Slide the optical drive free of the MacBook Pro. Remove this SATA connector from the old optical drive by gently wiggling it back and forth until it comes free. Remove these two Phillips screws so that we can remove the bracket from the old optical drive. The OWC Data Doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. The easiest way to install the SSD drive is to lay the Data Doubler like this, align the SATA connectors, and push the connectors together. We will use these two holes to attach the SSD to the Data Doubler using the two Phillips screws provided. Using the same Phillips screws from the optical drive, install the bracket on the OWC data doubler here. Now plug in the SATA connector. Slide the OWC data doubler in place, making sure that it does not crimp any wires and that it fits underneath this module. Make sure the battery tab is above the data doubler as well. Push the SATA cable back down into place and plug it into the motherboard. Now plug in the other SATA connector. Use your nylon pry tool to gently move the wires aside and reattach the same Phillips screw here that you removed earlier. Use one of the small silver Phillips screws that came with the data doubler here. Now replace these two Phillips screws with the same ones you removed earlier. Use one of the longer silver Phillips screws that came with the data doubler here. Make sure all the cables are in the proper place and laying flat. Lay the bottom of the case back in place and replace all 10 Phillips screws you removed earlier starting with the three longer ones here. Your OWC data doubler and second hard drive are now installed. Turn your MacBook Pro over and turn it on.